So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to do not a reacting to tweets video, but a reacting to um, Reddit posts, I suppose that's what it's called, in this video. And today we're giving uh, relationship advice, life advice, and so we're just going to see what some of the questions are on Reddit and answer them. So if you're interested in a video like that, please keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and I love doing these videos by the way. Um, I think that giving advice and sharing insights, I think that's a better word, because I don't like to say giving advice because hell, I don't know everything, but sharing insights is so powerful and we can learn from one another, so I love doing these types of videos. And if this is your first time tuning into my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Amber Turner and I am a published author <laughs> and I'm a published author, um, entrepreneur and um, I have my own business which is a cosmetic line called Magical Beauty and our cosmetic line is made from Real Pearl's girlfriend, yes. So just had to put that out there. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I invite you to subscribe. I like to do videos on thought-provoking subjects, uh, advice, opinions, and things like that, life. And sometimes we do beauty too because I do have a cosmetic line and you know, that's what I do. So if you're interested in those kind of things, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And now let's get into the Reddit topics. So here's a great one. Actually, I'm not going to read the whole post because it's kind of long and I think that cutting it down short, it just makes better for a great video. Um, this one is about a first date and having kids. And this girl is 29 and she went on a first date with a guy and one of the things he said is that he has to have kids. And when she inquired about why he had to have kids the reason why he wants to have kids is that he has siblings and i'm not quite sure how, how that has to do with the, like wanting kids and apparently she doesn't want kids so for her i guess she's kind of trying to figure out whether or not she should per continue to pursue dating this guy even though um he she says has the need to procreate um, to have kids and she really doesn't want to. So I guess like when you first meet someone, should you be upfront about those things? And if it's like a deal breaker, should you just not pursue it after that? Should it just be a one date and done? Um, I, I personally would think so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, why waste your time? If, if they're adamant about not, or they're adamant about having kids and you're adamant about not wanting kids, then that's a done deal. I mean, I don't think those, those are, those, that's a major subject that can't be changed. I don't know. The thing is, people can change their minds about that, but the likelihood of that happening is pretty slim. So I would say that I wouldn't waste my time with that. I would just say, hey, you know, we just have different views on life. I don't want to have kids. Do you want to have kids? I don't think this is going to work and move on. But I don't think it's in your best interest to pursue it, especially, you know, I think it might just be a waste of time. I personally don't like wasting my time on things. Time, it's just, you can't get time back. So, if you guys are adamant about what you want and the other person doesn't want it, then I would say move on. But I would love to know what your thoughts are on the subject matter. Could someone continue to date someone and perhaps they can change their minds? Or should you just be like, hey, you know what? That's, you, you have a viewpoint on this and I have a viewpoint on this and we are completely different. Uh, we feel completely different on the subject. Let's just like agree to disagree and like move on. I would love to know your thoughts. That one's a hard one. This one says, J-N-M-I-L reminds me of my wifely duties. So quote, well, it's really your duty as his wife to do things like that for him because he works so hard to support you. Um, okay. Okay. I think 
Okay, the the subject of wifely duties. I think that um, a lot of us at this point in our society have evolved past um, what are considered traditional, let's just say traditional wifely duties and um, husbandly duties, <laughs> if that's a word. Um, but at the same time, if you both agree because there are a lot of there are a lot of marriages and families and couples that have traditional roles and it works out perfectly fine for them. I think that those kind of discussions need to be had prior to um, uh, prior to a commitment, whether it's a you know a union of some sort or a marriage. I think those kind of uh, conversations need to be had in the dating uh, journey. I don't know. In the da dating journey, obviously. I think that it's important because I honestly don't feel anything that, I don't feel that there's anything wrong with having traditional roles in a marriage or a couplehood or union, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I think that if you're not if you're not traditional too that's fine too I mean it really depends on what you feel is right for you I personally don't like I personally wouldn't want a traditional type of marriage but I don't think there's anything wrong with one because honestly there's different like different strokes for different folks and <laughs> it works out for if it works out for you it works out for you now if in fact you got into a marriage and now you're like, well, he wants me to do these wifely duties. I mean, I think those conversations should have been had prior to um, you guys getting married. So I think th that's wh where, that's why we date and we learn about each other is on what you see a union or a marriage, um, what does that look like to you? And those are the kind of conversations that need to be had prior to you getting married. Okay, this one's interesting. I find this really interesting. Okay, so this one is throwing a birthday party for any child between the ages of one to three years old is dumb as, I mean, dumb AF. Let's just say dumb AF. Okay. That's interesting. I've never heard that opinion before because I mean most people go all out when it's when their child is between one and three. I think I personally love doing those kind of things. I mean honestly though, it's more for the, the parents and the adults because the kids don't know what's going on. They probably think it's just another play date. But I think it's just fun. It's one of those things where you can create memories and have pictures and then your kids can look back and say, oh, that was my first birthday and they always have their first cake and they, you know, make a mess of the first cake. I just think it's kind of cute, but um, obviously this person thinks it's dumb. Let's see what he says. So why, why do people insist on throwing huge, extravagant, costly parties for babies who won't remember uh, any of it. I understand you know, getting the family together for a celebration, but buying hundreds of pounds worth, uh, they're obviously like in, in Europe, um, and presents is completely pointless. Okay. I mean, that, here's the thing, and this is how I feel. I always, I always find it interesting when people, um, want to point the finger at how other people spend their money you know like it's their money if they want to spend x amount of uh, dollars on a huge birthday party for a a, a one-year-old then who cares that's not your money <laughs> i never understood that so i guess that's why they feel that way but I just don't get why that's I never understood why people felt so strongly about other people spending their hard-earned money on whatever they wanted to spend it on I mean it's not yours so why are you gonna tell someone that they shouldn't spend money on a party for their child so I just think that really 
if you feel that way, then don't do it for your child. Um, if other people want to do that for their child, one to three years old, then allow them to. That's their money, that's their child, that's their prerogative. Anyways, I think that's good for this video. Uh, uh, that is just interesting to me. Anyways, I would love to know what your thoughts are. Would you spend that much money on your child that's from one to three on a party for them? And if you would not, why, why do you feel like other people shouldn't? I don't know. Like, I would love to know um, your opinion on that. I, you know, I'm always open to perspectives. I think that it's interesting to know where other people are coming from because, hey, that's what makes the world go round is that everyone has different life experiences and different perspectives on life and I think it's a beautiful thing. Listen, if we all thought the same in this world, then the world would be pretty boring. So I think that having a healthy discussion and honoring the other person's opinion about it is absolutely fine. So I would love to know your thoughts on that. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I like, I like to do videos like this, um, having honest, open discussions on different perspectives, thought-provoking subjects and topics, and life in general, I think is beautiful. So if you're interested in that, I invite you to subscribe. And that's all for this video. And until the next video, I would check you. I always mess that up. And until next time, I will check you in the next video. What am I doing? Okay, peace. <laughs>